Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how uh, molecular structure and things you learn about, like functional groups and different types of bonds, um, relate to the function of molecules. Um, and so I'm going to do that by talking about molecules that are different colors. So a lot of molecules are white or colorless, and this is because they don't absorb light in the visible range. Um, so white light is made up of a range of different colors, which are different wavelengths. Um, and so if the molecule doesn't absorb any of those wavelengths, then it just appears white. But if it does absorb any of them, then you get uh, a colored molecule. And so typically molecules that absorb color do so because they have um, extended conjugation. Uh, and so what that means is that you have a bunch of electrons uh, kind of adjacent to each other um, that can move around. Um, and so more specifically, um, in a structure where you have a bunch of double bonds in a row, the electrons in those double bonds can kind of move around and interact with each other. Um, so in a structure like this, you expect this to absorb in the visible range because you have this extended conjugation length. And so you expect this mo molecule to be a certain color. Um, and then beyond that, uh, you can maybe affect the color by changing uh, other pieces of the molecule. So in this case, this set of molecules, you can see that the attachments on the nitrogen are all different, um, and that's going to affect both the conjugation length and kind of how much electron density is available to be shared uh, in this conjugated system. So we expect these molecules to be colored, um, and indeed we see that not only are they colored, they are all very different colors. Uh, so these small changes, just changing, you know, one piece of the molecule leads to a really dramatic change in color. Um, and if we understand the rules for this sort of conjugation, we can predict what colors we expect and how much we, cha how much we expect um, those colors to shift when you change uh, these different pieces of the molecule. Um, so yeah, this is something that I use in real life uh, in the lab. If I'm trying to target a specific dye, then by knowing rules of structure and function in molecules, um, I can get out the specific color that I want. So, yeah.